you doing this, this Sunday morning? Well, I'm going right into it. Guys, Oklahoma actually got hit today with a 3.7. There's some small quakes hit in Missouri, swamp of small quakes, but it's not noticeable because they're extremely small. All right, guys, the East Coast is acting up again. There's more seismic activity coming. Also, folks, the Cascade subduction zone. I have been talking about it now for over a month and a half. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. The plates around that area, folks, actually are breaking. It actually dropped anywhere between 65 to 70 feet. I'm going to repeat that one more time. The plates within the Pacific Ocean, right where the Cascade subduction zone meet, where one plate go over the other, those tectonic plates are breaking. First and foremost, guys, I'm not trying to scare you guys. Uh, this is to inform. Um, that's letting you guys know I'm not trying to do it. This is not about fear mongering. No one is half the battle. And you guys need to start doing your research. This part of the uh, uh, area is going to get extremely active with seismic activity. And they're coming. I see a lot of big quakes coming in that particular region. Scientists are actually now saying that's where the most dangerous quakes will happen. Now, in the past hundred, uh, in the past ten thousand years since they've been that area actually been hit forty times with forty huge quakes, and an earthquake average out now in that era at two hundred and forty three years. We're now at three hundred years without an earthquake, so that era is overdue. And now the tectonic plates are actually breaking there's a drop in the tectonic plate around that area and the, they said the drop is anywhere between 65 feet to 70 feet that's not good first and foremost guys just letting you know there's a lot of distraction going on right now in the media and there's a reason why they're distracting us because they don't want us to pay attention on what's really happening where we need to keep our focus is what's in the sky the incoming how we're going to adjust to a new reality because this seismic activity and these uh what's going on it's not going to get better it's just going to get worse the natural disasters and we have to learn to adjust to our new reality because let, i'm just being honest with you folks i don't see the grid staying up so we're actually going back to the stone age what do you need to do to adjust yourself for our upcoming reality because there's no man alive that can stop this thank you very much for always watching my video and the seismic activity is getting extremely interesting Cascade subduction zone acting up. East coast of the U.S. acting up. Get ready.